going back and forth. We use the same technique when we play with brushes. George! Today on Jazz Drummer Reacts, many, many of you believe that I am ready to watch George Colias. 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 And that's what I'm about to do. Many comments saying that this is essential metal drumming material. So let's get right into it. Click it. I need volume. I need volume. Pass me the volume. Volume. pause this for a second so from what i can see this man's fucked up all right so he's doing a foot technique fuck it just keep going i'm not here to analyze i'm here to fucking enjoy one foot yeah he's got that sweepy that sweepy shit he's doing with his feet. up with his feet. Yeah. Yeah, he's got the like sweeping feet back and forth. That's wild. It's like doing it's like doing push pull with your hands and alternating. So you'd be like push push pull pull push push pull 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 push push pull pull blah 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 and you gotta get those times. That's fucking tough, bro. I'm not saying it's push pull necessarily. Like it's a sweeping kind of motion. So left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right. It's the same kind of principle. Really tough. Really tough to get the timing down. Double ride. I love the double ride. I'm all about rides and I love the double ride. Yeah.
That's ridiculous. Yeah. Uh. I'm pretty speechless about what this guy's doing right now. Beat the shit out of your China! Beat the shit out of your China! Wow, George! George! Holy shit, bro. Okay, so that foot technique is fucking cool. I got my feet, and I'm gonna push, I'm gonna kind of rock it side to side. And that's going to give me one attack, and then rock it the other way, that's another attack. Boom, 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 boom. Now instead of energy going up and down, bop, 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 you're going side to side. Same with the left. If you do them together, bop, 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 in unison, bop, 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 you get unison eighth notes but then when you split them you're going back and forth we use the same technique when we play with brushes when i'm playing with brushes jeff hamilton talks about this if you want to know about brush playing you go see jeff hamilton so jeff hamilton plays with the technique where everything let me see if i can everything is side to side He's got his brushes here and brush here. Everything is side to side. He doesn't attack up and down when he's playing with brushes. So he does these sweeps. So when he gets speed going, that's how he's playing fast. Is he's not playing up and down. He's playing. And He's allowing this, the brush to ta 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 ta, and he can do. He's got the skills. I'm I'm okay at it, but he can do dig 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 dot with one hand while he's playing brushes, and it's the same kind of technique. It's that sweeping. You, it's almost an infinity technique, <laughs> so to speak, as you have this motion of kind of sweeping back and forth, and it's the, he's doing that on his feet, and so it creates. You can generate in intense speed and good power. I don't think as much power as if you were driving right into the pedal, but it's still a good amount of power. And especially if you work on it and you get the technique down, the hardest part about it is timing. Because there's plenty of tricks that you can do where you just kind of let your foot go. Blah, same with brushes. And it happened to me all the time. As I'd be playing, I'd try to do something with my left hand, do that to do something with my left hand that's kind of like that and it's keeping the time in it with while I'm playing it is really tough and I'd fuck it up sometimes I'd be doing it live and I'd you know maybe botch it and I'd have to make it sound like a jazz fill that's the secret that's the secret to jazz is just make all your mistakes sound intentional so for him to be playing that two tempo at speed with a click, I assume, or with a band at least. I mean, either way, you got to stay in time. That's fucking tough. That's way tough. So props to George, and thank you for recommending. Because this is a technique I had seen it used before. I've seen um, Dave Weckl use this technique back in the day, back in the 90s when he was playing Heal Up, and he was, you know, had, you know, a really huge drum set, and he was kind of in the doing his fusion thing. In the 90s, he would play heel up, and he would use that kind of rocking back and forth technique when he needed to get a lot of speed out of his out of his bass drum. Um, but I've never seen it actually applied in this setting, where I can like see the feet actually actually working. Um, at least not that I know. Maybe somebody in another video did it, and I couldn't even I couldn't make sense of it because it wasn't clear enough. But in this, I definitely noticed, and it was definitely badass. So. Thank you for recommending George Collius. I'll definitely check out more of his stuff. And um, he's got he's been in a bunch of bands, so I'll check out some of that eventually. But for now, that's it. Thank you. See you next time.